Welcome back to the Stratosphere Hotel and Casino. It's finals day here at the Three Wall Ball Outdoor World Championships. I'm David Fink alongside my esteemed broadcast partner, Brian Pineda. Brian, we're getting some bonus coverage here of the women's one wall big ball doubles final. This is great to see. This is uh, by far and away, even 16, though I play rock ball and power ball, this is what I, part of the reason why I come to this tournament is to watch the handball specifically, the, uh, the one wall. Back swing. It's really exciting. And you get four ladies that really know what they're doing. And it's a recipe for some great 13. drama. Sandy Ng serving here in the green. She's never lost here in doubles. She's the only handball player in history to have won a pro title in every edition of this event. So this wow. is the seventh. She'll be going for seven straight years of at least one 13, pro title. 17, Pretty amazing. I don't know if you have anybody on the racquetball side that's that's matched that feat, but it really can only be tied. At this tournament specifically, yeah. I, I don't think we have. Mm. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, uh, that's Second that's incredible. Server. 13, serving but, uh, 16. I'm actually just kind of blown away by that, really? Yeah. Wow. The black ball. So Dave, right there, why is that not unavoidable? It should have been, to, okay. no, it should have been. The only warning. Next one is going to be a down. 13 serving 16. The rules have sort of evolved in New York Outside. one wall to the point where certain things are unavoidable, crossing the ball on 16, a high shot, but yet moving into a shot for some reason isn't. Right. When you've had position initially. So it doesn't make sense when you think about it logically, but it's just kind of the way they do it. Right. And and that is what it is. Danielle Dasklak is serving here, receiving 17, Mel serving Sky 13. and Tomiko Pearson. And that's nice. a great return. That was a really good return. Yeah, I'm always fascinated 18, uh, because of uh, the conversations that we've had off the air as far as uh, sports keeping the equal balance of defense and offense. That's what I love the most about one wall is it's kind of almost more 19, of a, like a 55-45 defensive game. Mm -hmm. And you see shots, you see rallies, you actually get to see the conditioning of the sport. Black ball. And Dave, is this a, a one game to 25 19, as well? Serving yeah. 13. And we pick this up at about halftime. Our referee not mic'd up right now. So we're going to try and pick up that score here. Great deep second serve. Good power shot right there. 20, serving 13. 14, 13, is that where we're at? I believe it's 20 to 13. Oh, 20, 13, yeah. okay. So now 21, just four points from the win here. 21, serves 13. You are on it. Hold it. Danielle entered. The singles here, Brian, is the number one seed. She is the current one wall women's world champion, but she got bounced in the semifinals yesterday by Jenny Q, who we're gonna see here in just a Second little bit. Server. Amazing yes. player. It's it's the curse of, uh, of being the best or being one of the top of what you do. It makes the bullseye even bigger. Well, you know it's the worst part, Brian, is that she brought Jenny to this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny's a young player and you know, Danielle said, you know what, why don't you uh, head out to Vegas with me and then, you know, take me out of the tournament. And this you one's just about over here, Brian. 23, serves 13. Outside. Wind started gusting here about 20 minutes First ago. Server, 13, right around 25 to 30 mile per hour gusts. And that will affect the big ball play. Oh yeah. Nice dig. Wow. That is great front Second court seven. bum grinding right there. That bum fighting, it's uh that's grueling, man. Yeah. No wonder you guys are all in shape. 13 23. <laughs> Outside. I believe that. Danielle and Sandy play in more tournaments in more countries than any handball players on the First planet. Server. 
23, they play in all the biggest handball events in the U.S. They also travel to Europe, Colombia, Ireland, everywhere there's tournaments. What a desire. Yeah, you know, what they, a passion. That's amazing. 23, 9, uh, sorry. 23, 13. Nice cover. Oh, wow. Danielle traveled to Pittsburgh at the tournament I hold, Brian, over the Our summer. Server. She made a lot of fans. Yeah? Yeah, playing in 13, the men's four 23. wall and one wall singles, taking out a lot of really good players. And Are you kidding me? She plays in the men's divisions. Yes. That's, that's baller status. And very well, too. Almost won the one wall big ball. We had some top players there. And she almost won it. And she was playing Second just server. outstanding. 13, Incredible. 23. It's great when sports get those kind of players to come through uh, in their generation and be able to perform feats like that. I, I would, I don't think I will ever, and this is no disrespect, I was actually just giving props to the women on the uh, mixed racquetball broadcast, how far uh, that they have evolved their game yeah. and brought Our what server, they brought to the sport. 13. But I don't think I'll ever see a time where the top, uh, the top woman will be giving it to the top man. You know what I'm saying? So that's truly special, something you got going for this four year. Tamiko with a fly kill air there, just missing. Sets up match point here for Vasquez and Ames. That's crazy good. And that's a shot she had lined up on the last rally and just came up short. That's match point. She just Possible says, you know match, what, there you 13. go. Great replay here. Nice lob, smart. Wow, what a left. And that's why Sandy has picked up now pro titles in seven consecutive editions of this event. It's a record that can only be tied. And you know that these two young ladies are happy right now with this championship. Kara is courtside with our champions. Kara. Congratulations on this win, you guys. This is the first time that the ladies have been on the show court here for handball. Take us through the tournament, what it's been like for you guys here in Vegas. Uh, it's a bit tiring. Yeah, the sun and the wind kind of drains you. But um, it's just a matter of just mental focus, trying to keep it. Uh, for each division, and uh, I think we're a little crazy joining all the divisions, but just shows we're trying to focus pretty hard. You talk about your adventure through this one, Sandy. Um, same thing. It's a lot of challenges. Definitely the weather is uh, plays a big part, especially because you're not used to it because we're from New York. So right now it's kind of cold, and right and switch transitioning from cold weather to warm weather, it's quite hard. Definitely it needs a lot of conditioning. Talking about transitioning, David Fink up there was talking about how you guys are one of those players that travel all around the world, play handball everywhere. Where are some of your very favorite spots to visit and go and play? Um, so San Francisco was, was pretty fun. We went out there for the pro stop. I think that's our favorite right now. Yeah. Simple Green is probably our favorite tournament, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Um, but I mean, we got to play other codes like uh, front ball, which is some new thing uh, out in Europe. So we actually got to go to France, which was pretty cool, and Spain. And I mean, yeah, just more travel is always good. Yeah. <laughs> it's called front ball? Yeah, yeah, front ball. What is that? So it's a Spanish handball, like pelota is called, or fronton. Uh, basically, they usually have like the front wall and a really long side wall that they play, and it's kind of like squash. They keep it above a line. So what they did was they have now one wall, but you have to just keep hitting it above the line, and it's like a really light ball. It's hard. It kills your arm. Very cool. All right, well, congratulations, you guys. Good job here today and throughout the whole tournament this weekend. Back to you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Kara. That was a great interview with two of the greatest in this sport. And Brian, I said they traveled a lot. I think I left out a few places. France was just another one of the countries <laughs> yeah. that these ladies have hit. So I was a little disappointed they didn't mention Pittsburgh as one of their favorite stops. But I'll have to do a little bit more, a little bit more red carpet treatment <laughs> next time they come through. There it is. They're working right? you right now. They yeah. know you're up here. So it's Danielle Daskalakis and Sandy Ng taking home the women's one wall big ball doubles pro title. Sandy is going to be in action at least two more times today. She'll be in the one wall women's pro singles final. And that's going to be a really interesting matchup because Jenny Q from New York City will be her opponent. They've actually never played. Ooh. So even though they live, you know, within 
10 or 15 miles or in New York what they call two so stops on the L train. Mm -hmm. They've never played. And it's going to be Ruin a really a good storm. matchup. Two really good yeah. power players, great players. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to take a quick break. Brian, I know that you're going to stick around, I hope. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. So I'm Dave Fink, Brian Pineda. You stick around. We're going to have the men's one wall big ball pro singles final coming up just around the corner. See you in a bit.